What is up? I'm Harper with Extra Credit Design Club, and today I'm going to hit you with my list of the top five plugins that you should be using in Glyphs 3. If you are like me, when you first started using Glyphs 3, you were overwhelmed by the amount of plugins that there were. I wanted to maximize my time, my efficiency, speed up my workflow, and I thought, hey, I'll try plugins, but there were a thousand hundred of them, and it was difficult to decide which were useful, which were not for me. So after designing with Glyphs for a couple years, I have now put together my list of the top five plugins that I use every day. Now, if you are completely new to Glyphs 3, you don't know even where to find plugins, I'm going to show you how to do that, and then right away we'll hop right into the list. So we have open here a Glyphs file. We are going to go up to Window, we are going to go to Plugin Manager, and there you have it. This is where you can find a bunch of different plugins that you can add to your software. Uh, you can also look for scripts and modules. We ain't messing around with that right now. We're just looking at plugins. You can filter them through all plugins, installed plugins, or not installed plugins. Super simple. You just click install on the one you want, and then you will probably have to close down Glyphs, open it back up, and it should be working for you. Now that we got that noise out of the way, I'm going to hit you with, not number five, an honorable mention. Honorable mention, if you direct your attention to the top right of the screen, this toggler that I'm twirling up and down is called the Reporter Toggler. It's a plugin that lets you manage all of your plugins. So these are all the plugins that I have. I can turn them on and off with just a simple click of a box. It's an honorable mention because it doesn't have a lot of utility for actually designing out the typefaces, but if you're going to use plugins, it's a must have. Now, jumping in to number five. Mind you, these aren't in any grand particular order. The first three are free plugins that are everyday general use for any typeface, and the last two are going to be paid plugins, and they're more niche case if you are designing fonts with multiple weights and width. But I digress. If you turn your attention to the Toggler Reporter up here in the top right corner, the first one I'm going to talk about is Speedpunk. I'm going to talk about this one first because I think it is the most valuable one for drawing letters with smooth curves. If I zoom into my end, you can see I'll turn it off and on here. And what we have are these colored bumps that indicate the speed of my curve and where they meet on the points indicated is the harmony of the curve. So you can see here that my N, it's not quite harmonious where this point meets the curves right here. As a more exaggerated example, if I drag my handle in, you can see I'm way out of harmony. I want these points to line up or these bumps to line up. And if I preview, oh, what an ugly curve. So. Speedpunk is super valuable in that it helps you design even harmonious curves. The more red the color is, the more speed the curve has, the tighter the curve is, and as it gets closer to gray, it's a slower curve. So it takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you figure out this plugin, oh, so, so valuable for designing beautiful curves. Plug-in number two is stem thickness. It does exactly what you think it might do. I'll turn off speed punk just so we can get a clear preview here. And as I drag my mouse around this glyph, I can see indicated the width of the stem wherever my mouse is perpendicular to the curve that it is closest to. So here you can see how I can, oh, well, way exciting. Just tell how thick 
all of my stems are super valuable, especially when you're designing curved characters and diagonal characters like the capital A, the V. With those characters, it can be a bit cumbersome to guess or gauge the stem width or have to do a, you know, open up a tool and drag a ruler. None of that. Stem thickness, it'll automatically always be turned on for me and I can always know how thick my stems are. Plugin number three, I'm gonna hit you with, up in the top right corner, as always, Backdrop. So what Backdrop does, if I can zoom out a hair, is it gives me a preview of other characters that are similar to the one I'm designing. See, I have the H and how it relates to the N. They're similar, they're not the same. I have my M, how that might relate to my N. Similar, not the same. And you have a predefined set of characters here. You can preview them all or none of them or add a character that isn't predefined here. This is super valuable if you want to create a typeface with solid, consistent rhythm. You can see how your capital H relates to your capital O, relates to your N, relates to everything in the typeface. And that is it for the free plugins that you should use no matter what typeface you are designing if you're gonna ask me. These next two are gonna be paid plugins, more specifically for designing typefaces with multiple weights or widths. This one here, number, I can't remember if I started with five and I'm going down or if I started with one and I'm going up, but this is this, RMX, font remix tools. This is one plugin that will cost you 99 euros at the time of recording this, but you definitely get the bang for your buck. This plugin is essentially four plugins in one. You can see a video here on the RMX website explaining what each tool does. I am just going to hop into Glyphs real quick open back up Speedpunk so you can see what this first tool included in the RMX tools does. It is the harmonizer. So as I was saying, with Speedpunk, you can really see when your harmony is off. Now you could select your individual handles, drag them out, drag them in, kind of milk a mouse, ding, 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 ding. or with the RMX plugin, you can simply select all the points in your glyph together. With those selected, hit Shift Command H, and we have our harmonizer, and I am just gonna click Harmonize, and right there, automatically, my points in my glyph will be harmonious and beautiful to look at. Marvelous to behold, as an old wizard once said. Apart from the harmonizer, we have the scaler, which is super valuable if you are making small caps in your typeface. We have the tuner that lets you individually manipulate individual glyphs. This is very valuable, especially if you're doing something with multiple widths. It's valuable for correcting and adjusting overshoot on individual characters. And then finally, we have the mono spacer. You know what it does. It helps you make mono space characters from non mono space characters. The last plugin that I'm going to talk about here is the variable font preview plugin. On the Glyphs website, another place where you can download plugins, if you go to Glyphs website, hit resources plugins, I'm on paid plugins, we have variable font preview. This one is going to cost you 60 euro. You can download a free trial for 30 days. Same with the remix tools, you can get a free trial, use them for 30 days, and then decide how did I ever design fonts without these, then you can purchase the full license. But I digress, the variable font preview, let me show you what it does. So this typeface here, it's called Curtis, it's my middle name. It's also a fun play on Druck, which is where this font takes some of its inspiration. Curtis, hidden in there, is Druck spelled backwards. That's deep lore for that, that. Okay, 
Anyways, but I digress again. I have Curtis and I have multiple masters that I have designed and I want this to be a variable font. I know my masters look good, but how can I tell if my interpolation is working well or everything in between the defined masters? The variable font preview is super valuable for that. If I can turn it on here, you can see a window pops up where I have fonts and I have two little toggles, weight and width, or width and weight, I said those backwards. And I can define these in between here and there. I can also zoom in on certain parts of my letter. I can make this preview larger or smaller, and I can really dial in and make sure that my interpolation looks good between every single master, every little possibility, no matter what I do, I know it's gonna look good because the variable font preview told me so. And there you have it. That is my list of the top five must have plugins for Glyphs 3. If there's one that I didn't mention in this video that you love, let me know in the comments. I'll look into it, I'll check it out, and then maybe I'll rethink my whole life redo this video and include your plugin. Maybe not. Who knows? Anyways, as always, I'm Harbor with Extra Credit Design Club, and we'll catch you in the next.